know, playing basketball, this is what I love to do, and I can't really see myself doing anything else. Not saying that I can't, but I just don't want to. So, you know, that being said, I want to stick around as long as I can in this league and just continue to excel. I'm from uh, Queens, New York, from a neighborhood called Queens Village, which is in Hollis. I grew up with my father and my auntie. My dad was just a great influence because he told me that anything in life that I wanted, I had to work hard for it. Just watching him do that day in and day out, I realized that that's an actual fact because I'm seeing him do it every single day. So I just took that um, principle of philosophy to my basketball. He's definitely been my main inspiration as far as my game being the way it is right now. You know, just hard working and no excuses type of game. to Archbishop Malloy High School. You know, you want to be the next one that, that has his jersey retired in that school. So, you know, me coming there as a freshman, I didn't, I didn't play varsity right away. I had to play JV and then my sophomore year, you know, just trying to get my name on that board next to Kenny Anderson, Kenny Smith, and all the other greats. This is the Moses Brown show right now, folks. Brown blocks it at the rim, doing work on both ends. I think that G League experience was definitely beneficial. I'm coming back with a lot more confidence, just a lot more enthusiasm coming to this team and knowing that the stuff that I was doing down there can translate on this next level. He's got a motor, and that's the thing that's a separator for him. There's a lot of seven-footers in the NBA, but it's a small group of people that are his size that play as hard as he does. He's playing with a lot of confidence. He understands what he needs to do, what he brings. He's making his presence felt. He's a force in the paint. You know, he's, he's kind of brings a different element to our team that we haven't had all year. I feel like I'm getting better every single day I'm out here and around these guys because every time I'm coming out of a huddle, or I'm always able to ask any one of these players a question and they'll give me their time. He listens. He listens to players. He listens to the coaches and he takes that advice and he uses it in the game. And that's the biggest takeaway for any player like Mo, being able to be coachable and being able to listen to players and coaches. And there is Moses Brown again. That activity just does not stop. The foundation of his game, which is built on his size and his energy, how hard he plays, his spirit, you know, is really, really strong. And we're really, really optimistic about him. You know, going through life playing basketball and being in a young athlete, there's going to be ups and downs. You just got to have to find the mental capacity to be able to get through it and the mental toughness to say that you see the end in sight, you see the end goal, and no matter what's in front of you, just keep pushing through it. So staying on topic, staying on task is the, is the goal.